Although I practice predominantly criminal defense, and my partner John does predominantly personal injury, there is a common thread that unites this firm, which is representing people and making sure that people in need get the justice they deserve. It's just that simple. And there's a lot of crossover. You know, there's not much different than a client who feels like they have no choice because the government is holding all the cards, prosecuting them, making them back into a corner to take a plea deal. Not too much is different from that than a really large insurance company saying you're not hurt, saying you're exaggerating, saying even if you go to trial, you're going to lose. It's a lot of pressure. Our practice rises and falls with the interests of our clients. If they lose, we lose. If they win, we win. So if they're not willing to do what's right, if they're not willing to pay, if they're willing to put profits over people, then we'll take this case the distance and make sure that the community holds them accountable and makes them pay. I was facing one to three years in prison, at least. He actually came and visited me while I was in jail. Most attorneys don't do that, which was helpful because you want to see your lawyer. When you get a lawyer visit, it's like the best thing. He pretty much did the prosecutor's job for them. He used the civil case to get the depositions quicker so I didn't have to, didn't have to sit in jail longer. I couldn't get the insurance company to pay my expenses. They try to make it sound like you're trying to do something wrong. Really, all you're trying to do is be fixed again. From the very beginning, he just, he just started out being concerned about what I was going through. So that was great, you know, that was great. It was refreshing is what it was. You know, when you're involved in an accident, you want to make sure that you have legal representation quickly because whatever's happening, you have that advice, that guidance, and we're willing to go and say, listen, I'll meet you at your house. I'll come in and see you because that's what's important and really that's what these clients deserve. Our clients, even with the maximum recovery that they're entitled to under the law, may not walk again, may not be able to talk again, may not be able to do those daily tasks that they once enjoyed. But, but, if we stay focused on making sure that whatever outcome they get puts them in the best position to go back to that pre-accident form, that pre-arrest form, that's what we need to do. It's on a case-by-case -case basis, and that's how you have to stay focused. You have to get the results for this client under these circumstances. Then only then are you getting justice.